Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Erica. Are you excited? You wanna know what this smells like? Keep on watching. Okay, so let me tell you the story before I get into this. This is Killian Princess, and it is called, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. I call it princess. Um, Look at it. This is a 3.4. I went through a um, 1.7, I think it was, real quick like this. Like I, I actually thought it came empty handed, but I know that it didn't because I ordered it from Sephora. Anyways, I'm rambling. So let me give you guys the notes on Killian, okay? Okay. Let's see. First, I'll give you the notes and then I'll show you the bottle and then I'll tell you the good old things. So I'm over here in Frick Grand Tick, huh? And this has sweet vanilla, powdery, warm spice, fresh amber green, and citrus. This is this goes in the realm of Burberry Her, of Baccarat Rouge, of um, Ariana Grande, Burberry Her Intense. It it is a very similar similar scent to them. And to all of that they're very creamy and they're very airy and they're very um creamy airy marshmallowy um kind of juvenile but you i mean anybody can rock it but i'm just telling you like what what kind of smells what is it the like the sink the main accords is sweet I know we went through this, but I just I, I want to get I want to get you guys to feel kind of like to smell the perfume as I'm saying it, which even though it's hard to do, but okay. The most thing that I get here is the sweet, the vanilla, and the warm, spicy, and the citrus. Okay. So when you imagine that, um, it smells if if you would imagine that it smells like a wrapped maybe like a wrapped lemon wrapping around a marshmallow and it's not that citrusy okay i'm not saying it's super citrus is not but there is citrus in it and it's very this is year round i 100 I think it's it's like year round like 100 percent. okay so let me go ahead and spray The sprayer on this is not all that good. You see how like, it's kind of like, ah, but it smells so good. It's so good and it smells a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot like Baccarat, okay? Um, this is Killian. This is the one um, by the maker of Love Don't Be Shy, okay? So if you guys ever smelled that or if you guys ever smelled a caramel overdose it's this this is what it it's like in that in that circle okay so the, like i said this is a 3.4 the only thing i don't like about this is that i can't see the juice in it but um this is a 3.4 it's super heavy i don't know a lot of people don't say that but it's super heavy and it's kind of hard to open so when you open it a lot of people do that but um what do you have now how are you gonna open it if you have nails? Anyways, but it is hard to open. Okay, it, it's secure. It's good. So let me tell you the backstory on this. I went to um, I went to the mall to try to smell it, and the only one that they had was um, Kiss Kissing or something like that. So they sent me to Sephora, and in Sephora they had the little samples, like the the samples. And before I I go and I go and um, I purchase something. I actually always try to get the samples. Like if I can buy the little samples, I will buy them because these are these are more expensive. This one runs about. Hold on, I know I'm all over the pay. Uh, I'm all over the place. You guys already know. I'll, I'll get better. I promise. So this is going for about. Um, One thirty, right? Is this it? 
Well, it runs for about, let's see, Sephora. I'll, I'll show you guys, just so you guys can see. Let's see. Hold on, guys. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry that I'm, I wasn't, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys in Gift Express, it is $64.95. Oh, for a one ounce. <laughs> That's what I thought. So yeah, it goes for around like $130, okay? $135, there you go. In Sephora, you can buy it for $135. That's what I bought this one for. Um, so I went to I went to go buy it and then I sprayed it on. As soon as I bought it, like I sprayed it on because I was so excited. It was like the hype and shit. Oops. Anyways, so I sprayed it on. And then a little bit later, I couldn't smell it. And I was just like, the smell is phenomenal. Like, we'll get into that right now, okay? I'll go into details what I smell with this. But, um, yeah, I went to Sephora and I smelled it. I sprayed it on and, and then I didn't smell it back again. I didn't smell it. So then I went home and then I was thinking about it. I was like, this smells so much like Hugo Boss, the private, private accord. I have that one too. That one is kind of like orangey chocolatey, but in some type of way, it smells like it. And you know what it also smells like? It smells like pink sugar that I have also. So the, so I was like, why am I paying so much if I already have all of these? So I was indecisive. I was like, should I get it? Should I not get it? Should I get it? Should I not? To me, it was so, so, so almost like a dupe, I must say, to, to Hugo Boss Private Accord. So I was just like, eh, I'm not going to buy it. So then I was wearing a sweater and then um, I went like this. And then I, I had like a dish. I, I had no, I had to spray the um, black opium. But then in this side or whatever, I had sprayed before the day before uh, Killian this one. But then I sprayed the black opium be on top of it because it doesn't last. Neither of those last, to be honest, but whatever. So then I was like, oh my God, what is that delicious smell? It smells so good. It smells so good. I kept smelling myself. So then I decided to buy the, the small one, the 1.7. I went through that like crazy. And you know why I went through it like crazy? Because I had to overspray. So I was spraying, I was overspraying everything, which was so annoying to me. So annoying. But, okay, it dried down. It smells like brown sugar. Even though they don't say it brown sugar, it smells like citrus. It smells um, like a mix of Pour Femme and uh, Pink Sugar, Aqualina, and Hugo Boss Private, Private Accord. You know that I like lather my body with lotion and if I can put like an oil on, I'll put an oil on to for the scent to last, but it doesn't last on me. Like, I don't know why, like it just, like the scent doesn't last on me. Would I would recommend this? Mm. I think I would. The smell is so good. It smells really good. Maybe it projects better in summer because I was wearing it in winter. And winter, like, strong niche perfumes are, like, the bomb. And maybe not this one. But do I recommend it? I actually do recommend because it's so good. I think the ages for this perfume, um, if you want to smell, like, Sugar, marshmallow, citrus, warm, brown. Did I say that already? Sugar. Go go for it. Okay, go for it. Go for it. It smells really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the ages for this could be like from 15 to 30 maybe? I don't know. Like I, I would say you I, I'd say every anybody and anybody can use 
the perfumes whenever they want to, even if you're 40 or whatever. If you like the scent, just wear it. But I'm just giving you like a kind of like, it's very juvenile. I still rock it. My God. You know, I haven't worn it in a while and it's smelling so delicious. Whew, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it, girl. Let me spray. Oof. It's a compliment getter. It's a compliment getter, which I forgot to say. This gets you compliments. And you know what? Funny enough, on me, pink sugar gets me so many compliments. So many compliments. Um, it gives me compliments. But this is one of my my boyfriend's favorite. He loves this. So he bought this for me, actually. So, yeah. If you guys want to go ahead and smell like brown sugar, uh, marshmallow, citrusy, um, go ahead and use it. Go ahead and buy it. And that's it. Wrapping up my video. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Bye-bye.